Hi, this is Victor and here I want to do a follow-up on how I'm painting the tails for um, that I have from Planetary Empires so these are uh, the ones I'm painting now so the, the texture on, this, on these tails are very good so uh, with some dry brushing you will make them very visible this one for example here is only paint with one brown and one color of dry brushing and how I'm painting them is here I, I do more a type of batch painting so I apply one color all over the tails in the in the parts so here I, pay, I paint first the brown on the parts that I think uh, I, I would like to have brown okay but this is only one side this is another one here I, I will not have brown I want to make this as a jungle or forest here I paint this brown and then what I did is I, I divide brush the brown part and later on I did the grays that you see in, in most of them so this is I, here is nothing so you see here I only paint brown in some parts try to avoid the parts that are green I also want to show ones that I paint a while ago so this for example one that has some forest and some ruins and then this type of and then this one that has have some swamps okay so I will show also how I did this in, in later on but here you have some different examples another way to do the water of the swamps right some ruins and here is this with the the spaceport okay so just a follow up uh, I this these are quite a straightforward apply one color and one dry brush and you will capture all the texture it's they are quite easy to to work and yeah it's straightforward to paint so they don't have any type of difficulty so I will just keep doing a little bit of follow up the, the other thing I want, I maybe I will use some washes to make these squatters darker. I did in some, let me if I show one that I did before. So as you see here, this I apply uh, some wash and to make them darker. Also here to, to break the uniformity I applied some wash on some of the rings so in that way you break the uniformity okay so some examples on how to paint these tails and why I don't paint the frame I, I, I this is not in purpose because it you want to be able to put them together and each time you do that you will chip the paint so I'm, at this moment I'm not painting that I will see if in future I look for black paint or grey paint that are um, quite resilient and will resist the, rub the um, rubbing but at this moment I'm just painting the inside part of the tail so here you can see some more progress I did on, on the tails this one I paint this with uh, granite um, Sheridan granite I need and also did some dry brush here uh, double I did clear the dry brush here on the rocks so you do the dry brush first all, uh, on the browns and then I did I paint the the spaceport this one I need to paint the stones or maybe I'll leave it like that like a desert and here I just did some dry brush with you on, on the gray so same here this one is almost done so you don't need to do a lot on them this one is the green one I do it also green with a dry brush and I keep these grey parts here I will do some no wash I will apply some wash here on, on the craters this is a jungle piece now we will paint these rocks with light grey I have to do some shading here on the crater I will use some powders to make the crater darker like the explosion have occurred so these are some, some of the tails so here you see I just doing a part that is 
with like forest and another part without forest. This one I, I still need to paint a little bit more the cracks. Here I wanted to make this more rocky, this is why I did the second dry brush with lighter green. This one I will paint these runes on aqua colors to escape a little bit from the grey that I did. And here I have to paint now all the water effects. So this is how it's looking like now, the different tails. And I will, yeah, I will do some, maybe a second, we'll do another follow up later on. And I will close up this video with uh, how I'm painting the tails. Just fast a uh, follow up on how I'm painting. So now here, so I think you're working on the tails. Here you see I did the right the right brush on on the spaceport, and then I paint this uh, in blue, these blues and oranges. To simulate lights and windows, so of the spaceport, some more here, so just some work. And in that case, I will get, I will leave the eagle as you see here, or the aquila here. So just very brush and making these dots and to make simulate windows or to simulate lights here on the top or on the landing track. Other parts, I'll put them here. This is the other one, one that is half forest and half uh, so area with a forest, some ruins. Uh, everything is very bright and then I did the, the small craters with some washers. And this I did the cracks, I apply a wash. I also here to make to change a little bit the uniformity of the color. Okay, like here, I do some areas darker, some other areas clearer. So the objective is to, to make it uh, less uniform. Well, here I did the, the roads or the ways in, in darker color. So different ways to do these pieces. This is more uniform, just small rocks. They wanted to keep like a big forest. Here I wanted to make the runes, the rings, sorry, in a clear color. Okay, and this here I did rocks and did a mix of rocks and forest. And here I'm quite happy with this one. So I paint the water like a very Turkish. Or turquoise to 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 simulate the water on the jungle. Sorry. Okay. I apply it. Uh, I did. You can see here. Uh, first, I apply a green color, and then in the middle, I wing applying a blue color, and I did a varnish on top. This is the other side. The crater. This is quite fast to do. Okay. Here you see the forest and then I did some rocks some and some bars here I still need to do the dry brush on the rocks to make them more visible they will do it now in a moment here put some grey to, to also some some washes and some parts to break the uniformity of the color and this one so these are the pieces and now I will paint these small buildings or tokens that are used uh, on on the tails, I will not go into the tail that of that, but uh, it's going to be like a dry brush, and then I will will apply same techniques that I apply I apply here on the space pore. So I will apply dry brush, and then I will use oranges and blues to make the windows or to or to simulate the lights. So just I wanted to show how I do these tails. Not much to say, basically is dry brush and picking up some details, but the main technique I use here is dry brush. So that's all, thanks a lot for watching and see you again later, bye!